All right, pretty exciting game tonight to kick off our week. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and we have a four-time champ in Todd looking to break our 102-game streak of futility without a five-time champion. He's going to need a little help tonight. He's in third place, 10,000. Udit, 17,8. Kirsten, 10,600. Now tonight, had uh, three daily doubles on which I thought everyone should just wager everything. You had that uh, Grammys category. You had the... Uh, the $800 art clue, and then you had the five-letter World Capitals, which World Capitals is a category that I would just go all in every single time I could, just because if you know them all, and especially if you know there's five letters, it's going to help a lot. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered here. Who could have only gotten, what, $1,400 more? So he would only get nineteen two. He would be in the same situation, crushing his two opponents, but still uh, not in the clear yet. So... Kirsten doubles up, she's gonna have 21-2. Udit uh, has to wager 34-01. And uh, you know, he's gonna have 13-399, no, 14-399 if he's wrong. So Kirsten might as well wager everything. But at the very least, uh, 94-01 to cover Todd. Todd should wager everything. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to see how this goes. So, uh, how about that April Fool's episode on Friday? I did not, I can't believe I didn't see the walking out on stage with boxers on, which was a great prank that was pulled on Alex during the Ultimate Tournament of Champions because Brad and Ken and Jerome said they were going to do it, but they didn't. It's so watching a little... Uh, well, I always watch Pyramid. I watch the uh, DVR, the whatever the GSN rerun is, and that's at ten thirty, I want to say. And then I uh, do the original, well, not the original, but the newer GSN series from two thousand and twelve or whatever. And the difference between Dick Clark and Mike Richards or whatever his name is, I can't remember who he is or why he's famous or why he's even the host of that show, is absurd. It's like the people in the 2012 version never even thought about watching the original. And I don't know if the people in the original watch. They just seem to be very, very good at it for the most part. You have some of the best celebrities, some of the smartest celebrities I've ever seen. Like Patty Duke, rest in peace. She had a great run on Pyramid as a contestant. Or not as a contestant, but as a celebrity partner. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of sad to see how either the casting has gone downhill or... Just the intelligence of people in general has gone downhill in the last 30 years. And now we've got this new Pyramid version coming out soon with uh, Michael Strahan as host. And uh, I haven't heard of anyone getting any interviews or any callbacks or anything like that. And it's supposed to be taping in two weeks. So I don't know what's going to happen there. But uh, they haven't called me, I'll tell you that much. The House of the Seven Gables, I don't know who's that. Could be, I guess. No. Todd doesn't look very happy. I think he got it, though. Looks like Kirsten ran out of time. Okay, good. Wow. What does that do to your score? Hello, ten thousand one dollars more. You're in the lead with twenty thousand six hundred and one. As we come to Udit, who did really well in Double Jeopardy with the Capitals category, and he wrote down the correct response to the final. It all depends on his 
wager. What was it? 3,500? That takes him up to 21,300. Wow, great job, Udit. That was a good game. Yeah, obviously the uh, the Capitals category helped a lot, but uh, he had a lot of other good gets too. And uh, he'll shake off the nurse in the first game. You can kind of tell he was all oh, nervous. I'm a little embarrassed by this, by the way, but it's better than nothing. Uh, and uh, we'll see if he comes back tomorrow even stronger. Great run by Todd. Uh, I'm sure we'll see him in the Tournament of Champions, which who knows when that will ever happen. Although I'm a little confused by that $1,000 wager. My guess is he thought he was writing down 10000 and uh, I noticed in his... Uh, handwriting, there was no comma, so maybe he just didn't see that he hadn't written up zeros. So uh, I'm going to blame that one on just a, uh, I don't think, I think it was just a mistake and not any sort of throwing the game sort of thing, but it wouldn't matter. It's a nice thing. He would finish in third no matter what, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, and I hope uh, we will see you as well right here on the final wager.